Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be bringing you another 10 hidden features video, and this is yet of the third S6. Yes, this is the S6 Active, and we are going to find out the 10 hidden features for this device. All right, as always, we do break them down into 10 separate videos, so if you just want to quickly look through the hidden features and see which ones you really are interested in, feel free to break it down that way. But if not, let's do it in one full video. And let's begin. Now for the first hidden feature, it is a different style of lock screen called directional lock screen. And it's not here. That's because it's a hidden feature. And we have to go all the way to personal and then accessibility to find it. And once we're in accessibility, you have directional lock. Again, this is a different lock that is on the lock screen menu. So once you turn this on, you then get to decide how you want to do it. Now, what you do is you go from four to eight direction arrows and then repeat it. So I'm going to do this section and then I have to repeat it. And now I have to do a backup password. Let's do the super secret password of one, two, three, four. And then you can decide whether you want to show content or hide content uh, for all intents and purposes when you're using this. And then once this is set up, you can show the directions or you can not show it however you want to do it. But basically when we click this on, now it's going to, again, swipe to screen lock, but or else you wouldn't really know it. And, oh, sorry, it's not set up to immediately lock. So let's go ahead and change that under lock screen security. And have it lock immediately. And now we have to go lock and then unlock it. So it's a really great simple feature, but it's just a very unique way of locking your screen. I would personally use this over a lot of the other ones since I don't have the fingerprint scanner on the regular S6. This would probably be my go-to one if I wanted a lock screen. Now our next hidden feature comes from the Samsung keyboard and it's called Text Shortcuts. We find this by going to Language and Input and then going to Samsung Keyboard. Now the Samsung Keyboard has a lot of hidden features actually just with inside of it. You have the ability to improve your predictive text through Gmail, Facebook, and other uh, social networking sites. You have the ability to use your keyboard swipe to do different things. And you even have the ability to adjust your keyboard size. However, my favorite one by far is text shortcuts. It makes it really easy to program a certain number or letter in your keyboard to output a certain thing. So basically you would just add number five and we would type in hello and now when we go to something I, you can see that I can hit one and the Android guy is a quick one I can tap two and I can type in R-I-C-K-Y the Android guy hit three type in my Gmail, type four, put in a fake number, and five, hello. So you can see how quickly and useful this can be for things that you type it all the time, such as your name, your occupation, your t contact information. This can just be really simple and convenient. So I really like this and it's a great hidden feature that you can make a lot of use out of if you're going to use the Samsung keyboard. Now our next hidden feature is a feature that all Android devices have, but many people don't know about it, and that is blocking notifications. Now, blocking notifications can come in handy if you have a game that won't stop messaging you to, hey, you need to check out your horde or uh, get in this race or something like that. And it really just stops it from all those annoying things, even a game that maybe is constantly spamming you with certain things. So, if I go under sounds and notifications, we will find, as we scroll up, app notifications. Under app notifications, you will see 
every single app you have here. And from there, you can actually tap it and then have these three abilities. One is to block the notification entirely. Two is to uh, allow it to be set as a priority, which means in your do not disturb mode, it will still go through. This would be good for say like text messages or something like that. Uh, but otherwise this will block all notifications from this app. So if I never want a notification from Amazon app, I can just block it and I'll never have it. Simple as that. You can also hide content on lock screen as well from here. And this is really good so you can just really just personalize all the apps that you really don't want to have a notification and make it really nice and convenient for yourself. A real great form of personalization. Now our next hidden feature is called Smart Lock. Smart Lock can be found once you install a lock screen, you can use Smart Lock. So under Lock Screen and Security, we open up secure lock settings. Now remember, this will only show up if you have a lock screen. If you don't, it won't be there. Once we have it though, we can set up smart lock. So this is the idea behind smart lock. The idea behind it is that you can have trusted places, voices, body detection, or even trusted devices that are connected to. So a simple thing would be maybe every time you have your Bluetooth smartwatch connected to your phone, then you don't want to have to put in your lock screen because you are with it. Maybe it's a trusted place, so you're home. Maybe you don't need a lock screen once you're home. Maybe that is the time you need it, who knows? But if it's a trusted place, then you want your lock screen there. And this is just a real simple, convenient way. Now, Trusted Voices allows you to do this as well However, I found that it doesn't work as well in my opinion, but um, that is just something it's being trialed right now. Trusted voices and also body detection. So this means that when you're lifting it up or when you're holding it in your hand, it realizes that now it should unlock it. So again, this is something that they're trying out. It's in beta right now, so it's not going to be as reliable as the first two. But I like Smart Lock, it really helps it so whenever I'm connected to my Bluetooth, I know that I can just make sure that this device does not lead a lock screen. This next hidden feature is called Pin Window. Pin Window is a really great hidden feature just because it satisfies that time when you just want one app on your screen and nothing else. This completes that. So you find pin window by going into lock screen and security, swiping up and then going to other security settings. Once we go here, we swipe all the way up and we have pin windows. Once you turn pin windows on, it tells you that you just open the app, then you hit the recent app button and then you pin the window. So if I wanted the calculator to be my pin window, I open it up swipe it up I see this pin now available and now I cannot get out of the calculator this would be great for a test when you're trying to show a teacher like look I can't get out of it it won't let me uh, so it just makes it really simple and easy now uh, it would be funny if a teacher would do this to a student as well uh, so you can't get out of it right unless you hit the recent button and the back button this would be great for like a kid or anyone that doesn't really know like you know too much about a smartphone you literally lock them on the screen and so they literally have to hit both of those icons to be able to go away from this app so it's a really great simple hidden feature and it can be helpful at certain times and that's called pin windows our next hidden feature is called notification reminder did you ever swipe away a notification by accident and you kind of forget about it later when you're driving or just when you're busy and you just forgot about it by the time you weren't busy. Well, this helps alleviate that. So a notification reminder can be found under accessibility and then notification reminder. From here, you can decide how the notification reminder works. So you can turn it on right here, change on vibrate, even have the LED indicator go on as soon as you need it to or not you can then tell it how long to remind you again. Uh, I set it for five minutes. I think the other ones are a bit too excessive unless you really just need a second, a couple seconds to do it. Uh, and then you can decide which one you want it for. 
So if I wanted it for my Starbucks, or if I wanted it for a video game, or Dropbox, or any of the things that you might want it for, this would be a really good time to just, oh, well I want, you know, if I swipe away PayPal, I definitely want to get to that later. And that's just a real simple way of doing it. So I recommend uh, definitely using this for all of your notifications that you might want to be reminded about. Now our next hidden feature isn't too well hidden, but still a lot of people don't always know about it. And that is this active key. Now this active key is put in by Samsung to be this active feature, but let's be honest, most people probably won't use this. So what you can do is you can go to more and then go into active key settings. What this allows you to do is program the short press and the long press. So as you can see, I already changed mine to messages for the long press and for the short press, I can launch something else. So like I love uh, bitmojis and I use that a lot. So now I can even have my screen off. And if I'm like, oh man, I just got this message on my watch and now I need to send it to this person. I just tap this button and it's going to launch bitmojis. And then I would automatically use it and just play with it. I haven't set this one up on this phone yet, but that's the idea. You can quickly go to an app, even from the lock screen. I don't recommend using it for the camera anymore because you can double tap the home button. So it's not as needed, but it's just a really great way of being able to use another active key quickly and easily and launch whatever app you want. Now, if you ever want to change it, it is in your settings portion as well, just active key and then you can change it to whatever apps you want. A pre short press and a long press are two different types of presses, so make sure to get the best two apps you want on any screen. So our next hidden feature is called gesture control. This is used on the camera, and this is for all you selfie takers out there. So how this works is essentially you go into camera, and you're on your selfies. Hello, guys. And from here, we're going to go into the settings portion right here at the top. So once we go there, we're going to go to gesture control. What this does is once you show your open face palm, it will immediately take a picture after two seconds. So it's kind of like a prompt uh, to do it. And it's similar to the LG, what they did, but with them, you have to go like this. With this one, you just have to literally hold up your hand. So let's do it. And there's our beautiful selfie. So it's simple and easy, and you can do this with even the different modes. So if you go into interval shot, so you want to take multiple selfies, well, that's fine. You just go like this, start it off, and then it'll start taking those multiple selfies. Really simple and easy. I definitely recommend it. And you can have a lot of fun with it overall, especially when you're in a group shot, like a wide selfie, it comes in handy. And finally, our last hidden feature also comes from the camera, and this is going to be the 1080p at 60 frames per second, or how to shoot the best video quality on your S6 Active. So this is a really simple one, and it's going to your camera, then hitting the settings button at the top, and then going to video size. On video size, we're not gonna to go to the very top one, uh, or even QHD because guess what? That's actually not the best quality. Best quality is full HD at 60 frames per second. What this allows you to do is something very simple and that is allows you to film at the same kind of quality that TV shows and movies shoot with. It looks amazing. So when I did this while I was on my cruise and it was outside, you can see just how clean the water looks just traveling on it and it just looks beautiful. Every single one of your videos will look lifelike and amazing like this when you shoot in this mode. It's something spectacular and it's something that I'd highly recommend to anyone to shoot in this mode with this camera and you'll make every person jealous that doesn't own a Samsung. All right, guys, those were the 10 hidden features of the Galaxy S6 Active. Please give a like, thumbs up down below if you did find the, any of these helpful. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y. The Android Guy.